So, we just had someone see the mowers and stop by with uh, something to repair. It's a uh, Ultra Murray, you know, basic unit. Uh, does have the bag and the throttle control, which is busted. I got to change that. It's a 96. And uh, this is obviously a replacement engine. It's a five and a quarter Briggs Quantum. But the mower is a four and a half. Uh, one engine mount bolt is missing. But the complaint is that when the mower is running, gas leaks out of the float bowl onto the deck and it runs rich. It's just a needle gasket or a float adjustment or something. So I got to take this apart, fix that, and tighten these wheels up. And I throw just a cable on that I have laying around. So that's what we're going to do now because I can't do anything else on this because I have to get a different belt. But I did tighten the chain back up. So. That's good. I gotta put some washers on here. So that's what we're doing now. So I got this carburetor halfway apart now, and I already see one problem. If you uh, let me turn the camera light on, I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but there is no gasket inside the bowl. So let's go ahead and remove that and see what the inside of the bowl looks like. Come on. I don't know if I'm stripping it or taking it off. Oh, wrong size wrench. Is it? No. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off and come back. Okay, further disassembly of this carburetor indicates that there is no needle. So that is definitely a problem that needs to be dealt with. So I'm going to find and... Uh, where'd that come from? Oh. Oh. Well, that's kind of convenient. This is a Tecumseh needle, but we'll see if it fits. Well, the float was also an upside down, so I corrected that. Now I'm going to have to find a rebuild kit for this carburetor because that's the wrong gasket. I mean, you put your bowl on there, and it doesn't seat tight like it should. So clean it out and I'll go find a rebuild kit for it. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Napa. The rebuild kit's gonna be uh, about 15 bucks and it has to come from a nearby town so it won't be here until tomorrow. So I went ahead and called the customer up and uh, she's all right with the $15 parts and then another five to change that handle plus the labor. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to Napa and order that. So that's what's going on. Well, on my hunch, I got a carburetor kit. I used about half the gaskets, and these are the old junk gaskets, and the other one. This is the air filter gasket, and I got the new one all installed now. I got the carburetor back on, so I'm going to go ahead and change that throttle cable now and uh, put this back together the rest of the way. I'm going to have to talk about changing that. It isn't too good. Okay, I haven't changed the cable, put a new cable on yet, but I got, I think that's full throttle. I got the carburetor all back together and there's some gas in it. I don't see any leaks yet. So let's go ahead and see if it'll fire up. On the Nomapod. Sweet. Don't see no leaks. 
feel any? Nope. Nice and dry. Let's see if it'll start back up. Sweet. Well, now I'll put the uh, air filter element back together. Call the uh, owner and see if they want anything else done. Well, I just got off the phone with a customer and she just says, put the cable on and I'll do the rest. Now, it's not that this air filter, I mean, it isn't that dirty compared to some I've seen. You can still, if I go outside and hold it up to the light, you can still see light through it. It's just beat up on the sides and the foam don't seal too well, but not my machine. The plug's pretty carboned up and it's low on oil and she said don't do anything about it. Alrighty. That's that's fine. So I'm gonna put this back together and finish putting that cable on and wash it. We'll be good to go. Because I do wash everything, that is something that I do, so. That plug's pretty carbon too, and we did have a little bit of leakage, but I tightened that up. No more. So that's what we're doing. I got this new uh, MTD tractor throttle mounted and drilled through the uh, frame there. Working good. So we're gonna go ahead and test it and make sure the RPM range is where we want it. Normal pod again. And then after that, this pig will be done. Three hours, exactly. I'm gonna try to start it without any primer. What the bloody hell, oh, that's the gas. That's a job and a half right there. That's done. Now I just gotta wash it and it'll be done. Cool.